Hey everybody, Rob Booker here. Uh, today I closed a British pound New Zealand dollar trade and I wanted to share with you why I did it, how I did it, uh, how I came to that decision. What I did was I spent a week of profit, about $1,000, to close down a British pound New Zealand dollar trade that was going badly. So you'll see my profit for the day went to negative $875. My profit for the week is still $111. In this video right now, I wanna show you why and how I went about doing that. Number one, let's talk about the subject of the video is giving up on a trade with the Finch robot. The first order of business is not to panic, but to face the problem head on. Number one priority when trading the Finch robot or any kind of trading system in the world is to protect the trading capital. That's the number one most important priority. The number two priority is to keep as many pairs trading as possible. That's the number two priority. Now, elections matter. The run-up and the aftermath to an election can create savage trends. And as a counter-trend trader with the Finch robot doesn't like trends. Uh, Finch will win 92, 95% of the time, but when a trend hits, it's that four, five, or 6% of the time that it doesn't work. And in those instances, I need to do something about the situation. So this is the first thing I did. I checked the weekly chart. I went over here to trading view and I checked the weekly chart and I saw that what happened was Theresa May announced that elections would take place on June 8th to capitalize on some favorable feelings from the British electorate toward her party and lock in her party until 2022. Immediately after that announcement, the British pound jumped up higher against almost every other currency, including the British pound New Zealand dollar, which unfortunately I was in a trade that was now like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of points negative. And I noticed that a yearly pivot was floating above where we were on the charts. And I realized I need to be out of this trade or I'm going to be in this trade for a long time. I also realized that I missed a recent opportunity on the one hour charts to get out of my trade. I had an opportunity right here to add a sell position and capitalize on this downward movement, and I missed it. Those two things in combination told me that I needed to do something fast, and I needed to take care, I just needed to take care of this trade and get out. So I checked the weekly chart. I checked the election coverage. I found out that on June 8th, these elections will be held, and that traders around the world are pricing in favorable British pound movement in advance of the election. So I checked the weekly chart, I saw a yearly pivot was above. I checked the date of the elections and I checked what traders were doing in advance of those elections and I decided to close out that trade. Now, in addition to closing out that trade, I decided that what I would do is I would also decide that I could trade this British pound New Zealand dollar with this emerging trend. Now, I have a robot called the T6 robot that will buy on the one minute chart when there is one minute divergence. And if it goes up and then retraces and prints another divergence, it will take another buy trade, it will go up, it will retrace and print another divergence, it will take another buy trade. And what I could do is, I could balance my trading out a little bit by also buying the British pound as it trends upward in advance of the elections. Now, if you're interested in that, next week I'll do a presentation about that robot in particular, about that trend trading robot only. For those of you that watched my earlier uh, video on YouTube uh, that was live, sorry that the charts weren't fully visible. I've uploaded this video to replace that one. I love you all. Have a good day, everybody. We'll see you soon.